Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a resample transition between two videos in VHCC Video Editor Pro version. Now, it's actually super easy to apply a resample transition between two videos in VHCC Pro. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor. So this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video. And as you can see right here, I have not overlapped my videos which I normally do when I make a transition tutorial. Rather, I have placed them one after the other in the timeline like this. Now to apply a resample transition between these two videos, what you need to do first is you need to double click on your first demo video. Next, go to video effect go to transforms select resample and now click on ok now currently the duration of the resample effect is the entire duration of my first demo video in the timeline that is 7 seconds so I would like to reduce the duration of the resample effect to just 2 seconds so inside the duration option you need to write 02.000 and now press enter on the keyboard. Now place the resample effect right at the end like this. Alright. Now look inside the resample settings which is present inside the properties window. And inside the resample settings you will find this option called resample times where currently the value is 4. So what you need to do is you need to click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of the resample times option. And the moment you click on this three dots, this graph is going to open up. Now click on this templates option and select this particular template that is zigzag one. Now the moment you click on zigzag one, this template settings dialog is going to open up. Inside frequency, currently the value is 2.500 Hz. So you need to decrease the value inside the frequency option to just 500 Hz. So the value will be 0.500 Hz. And inside minimum curve value, currently the value is 1, so that's fine. Inside maximum curve value, currently the value is 1000. So you need to delete this value and instead of 1000 you need to write 50 and now click on the ok button all right now let's go back to our timeline now click on this resample effect press ctrl c to copy it now go back to the main editing timeline and now double click on your second demo video right inside the second demo video press ctrl v to paste a duplicate resample effect. Now place this resample effect right at the beginning like this and look inside the resample settings. Inside resample times currently the values are 1 semicolon 50. So all you need to do is you need to simply reverse the values. So instead of 1 semicolon 50 you need to write 50 semicolon 1 and now press enter on the keyboard. And that's it. And so now, if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start. So what's the resample transition? Which happens when the cursor moves from the first video to the second video. Let me just play the video for you once again. Perfect. All right, now let me just see if I can play the video for you in the preview window. So let me decrease the resolution and now let me play the video for you inside the preview window. So this is how you can apply a resample transition between two videos in VSCC Video Editor Pro version. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.